Okay, so thus far, all we've done in Revit is gone through and set up uh, families and set up drawings so that we can actually see what it is and do, generate diagrams. Uh, something else we're going to go through now is actually setting up our rigging cameras so that we can set up 3D views. Uh, and so I'm going to do a little bit of family adjustment and then I'm also going to set up um, a camera view that we can actually dump into maybe the cover sheet of our drawing, or sorry, of our drawing package. So uh, first thing you want to do, if you come up here, I've already done it, if you, uh, you can close all hidden windows. Uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to go into level one where I can see my guy. If you go into the view tab, 3D view, pull this down, you can drop a camera in. And then if you just click and drag, you can set up what the camera sees. Okay? Not very great. We're going to be looking at the guy's feet. All, not all that useful. But what we can do is if we go into one of the elevations and then come over here to, and I'm going to right click first, I'm going to rename this perspective. My 3D view one. I'm going to right click and then just show camera. And so it'll show the camera in that view. And then I can come around here and drag it. And I can start to control what I'm looking at here. I can shorten up the view. Um, so that's kind of handy, not all that useful because we can't actually see what we're doing. And so what we can do is we can actually um, tile our views. So if we come over here, I'm just going to go ahead and what I did is I just click this sort of minimize guy. And there's my camera. I'm going to shut down all the views that I don't need. And then I'm just going to hit tile. And then, and that was right over here under the view tab, tile. And I'm just going to click and pan so I can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to come over here and I will again right click, show camera. that we can actually, that's how one way we can rig this up. Then what I'm going to do, I need to actually edit this family, so I'm going to double click on this. Let's see what there we go. So it's going to open up the family, and then I'm going to go and do a file save as. But I just want the robot, I don't actually want the diagram, so save as family, robot, cool. I'm going to delete that out, and then I'm going to load this back into the project.
that's what I'm doing what I wanted to do now. All right, and so now we can come over here. We can also set up a view template, and I'm going to go ahead and apply. Now we're coming here, and but because I set up this previously, we have all this stuff. So now we need to come in here and re-engage. Oh, cancel. I want to duplicate this. Okay. And then we're going to edit this. this view template. And, all right, so now we're looking a little bit cleaner. Lo looks like we still lost our hands in there, so let's go ahead and edit this. And let's see. Okay, so they're on that now, and so I can come in here and change the representation of that to black, and the lines to solid. see the shadows. Sketchy lines. Let's see what happens if we make this look a little bit sketchier. It's how you seem to like sketch up type. So that's how you can start to set these up and um, plug them into your drawings. Okay, and then the last thing we want to talk about here is how to change the size of this. So we can go through and we, once you have the view selected in the sheet, you can crop size. And if you scale lock proportions, we can set the width to be say, 9 inches. Hit apply. We can make our drawing bigger. 